Hi, my name is Ezineku Frekanem from Up Here. I'm here today to continue on our series on what you must know or what you must have or what you must put in place before you get married. And so today I'm going to talk about do not be unequally yoked with another. We always look at this statement and then we go spiritual on it and we say, oh no, it means that I should not marry an unbeliever and all of that. But I want to take us back to look at the context of that sentence or that phrasing. Back in the days, the means of transportation was animals. And so when you have an oxen or a donkey, you now put everything that you want to carry, transport on that oxen. And then, you know, so it's a crossbar like that. And then you put one thing, the weight here and the other weight here. And that is what is called yoking. And then if you yoke them equally, then the oxen is balanced. But if you don't yoke them equally, the oxen is still fed. That's really what it means. Do not be unequally yoked. So don't go into marriage with someone that you don't have similar strengths with and that you don't have similar values with and then you don't have any kind of similarity. Don't marry from the street if you're not from the street. Don't marry from the church if you're not from the church. Don't marry from the virtual world if you don't know how to navigate it. All of these things. Do not marry someone who doesn't have the same academic qualifications with you if you know that you're not going to help that pressing come up it's not tomorrow when you blow you now say she is not or he is not we don't want to hear all of that marriage to a person is your gift to yourself your choice of who to marry is the only thing i know on earth that you decide for yourself except maybe if you were forced into marriage or something but if you opened your eye to look for a spouse or pray for a spouse or however you spoused it but you chose that person so you have to be sure clearly sure that you're giving yourself the best gift that you can give to yourself Per adventure it works out you enjoy your gift Per adventure it doesn't work out you know that there's nobody to blame because you chose this person yourself so first i will say do not be unequally yoked in any way manner fashion thing make sure that your strengths complement each other and you can both carry and so when the load of life is put on either of you or both of you together you will still be balanced so you have to have those conversations talk about your dreams talk about your aspirations talk about the journey you want out of life and be sure that it aligns with the journey the person you want to yoke your life to is on as well and the second one would be make sure that your friends friends help each other friends make each other laugh friends bear each other's burdens friendship it saves the day because you know what the giddy goes at some point all that butterflies everything it goes see right after the wedding when you see the bills you run up in the name of doing a wedding and then you see all oh, the children come you see the bills you have to pay and everything and all of that you see some of the love will just start disappearing a bit and a bit and a bit and you know gradually life has a way of dealing 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 with us it doesn't let up if we don't have this friendship to refresh us, to rejuvenate us, to remind us, to help us laugh through some hard times, to help us sleep easy, to help us enjoy being together, then you see, life and the issues of life will gradually squeeze away love. That's why you hear sometimes love is not enough. Onto love, you now need to add the good works. And one of the good works is friendship. You know, being able to banter, being able to enjoy someone's presence and companionship without the pressures of life so make sure you marry your friend finally but maybe the most important marry a man that is kind a man that is kind a man that has a conscience a man that is considerate a man that will put you first before any other thing this kind of man is also a man who loves god Please, I'm not talking church now. It's important that he goes to church, but this is not about church. This is about loving God for God. Because when you love God, when you have a relationship with God, you will be like God. You will be kind. You will listen. Not listen to criticize, but listen to understand a different perspective and you will be man enough to say okay i see you i hear you and then you will be kind 
to forgive even before we come begging for the forgiveness. You will be kind to understand the pressures uh, a woman goes through. You will be kind to understand the makeup of a woman. You will be kind to your wife so that she doesn't burn out. And all of that, you will be kind to say, what are your expectations? And within reason, you try to meet those expectations. And vice versa, men, please also marry this kind of woman. A woman that is kind, a woman that is understanding, a woman that fears God, a woman that respects you. A woman who is kind will not ask you for what you can't afford. A woman who is kind will know not to expect too much. You need to have these conversations and you need to be sure that these qualities are in place before you decide to walk down the aisle and have all of us come and witness your union. Marriage is desirable, it's honorable. If done well, it is actually commendable. And if it's done well, it's actually a blessing to everyone. A good marriage helps you become a lot more than you ever thought you could be. When two are rowing together, you do more together. A good marriage is good for purpose, you know, so that you can fulfill your purpose and your destiny. A good wife is a backbone to a good husband. And a good husband is the wife's pride. So let's make sure we do all our due diligence because let's be honest, you will not knowingly yoke yourself into a business contract without doing these checks. So enough of, I was told to marry him or the Holy Spirit revealed to me or my pastor said and all of that. Do your due diligence. I wish you every success. And from here, please up you. Mm -hmm.